I'm, I'm not exactly super excited about the Ornn. I feel like Rascal has been used the best when he has control of a lane. And you just, yeah, you survive, but you don't win. On paper, on paper doesn't necessarily tell the whole story, especially when KT Derek's involved. Let's do it. Let's jump onto the rift. Onto the rift for game number one, KT versus DRX. And uh, yes, it's an decides now that he has a vision, he's just going to go bottom side. Yep, just utilizing the information that he's gathered as Yahoo taking a lot of damage here from BDD on his Azir. And this is actually really smart. It's Pyoshik going to find Sponge here. And it's his clever little pathing that's allowed this to happen. Finds the permafrost onto the Zyra. And without her plants, what's she going to do? Yehu also getting solo killed in the mid lane at the same time. The flash from Sponge. Yehu flashing in as well. But PDD gets out of there. And there's first blood for Pyoshik. It's crazy all over the map, but KT coming out on top. KT winning. And you can see the pathing here pretty intelligent. Meanwhile, Ooh, yeah, Zenith Blade does come on down there as Teddy's going in. Barrel's in a lot of trouble, but he puts down the Equalizer. Or the Huey version of the Equalizer, anyway. It was like the best matchup for Tank Azir that there possibly was. As Yahoo gets on in there, uses all of his buttons in order to... He <laughs> also recently... Yeah, as Deft, uh, Deft is possibly in trouble, but... Uh, not going to quite find too much here as Teddy getting taken down to 100. Now for KT, rolls so that Sponge is starting this off at this timing, but isn't able to rush them very quickly. Still should be a trade. Derek should be able to secure these, but man, the Ezra losing all this farm in a tough matchup already with the Huey. Kalista, he's now down 20 CS. So it, uh, it hurt. Sponge has six. All right, let's see whether they can find something here. Ulti does come through, but Yahoo instead just picks up a turret shot and uh, not a whole lot is actually going to happen. BDD was looking to try and turn it there. As the Grasping Roots come down, Pyoshik also throwing an ulti away. Yeah. I think Zekka even recently had a pretty forgettable laning phase and then won POG. So, I, I look, there's time. I think his career was built on a little <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Do come down. Boomerang's flying out, though. Let's see what actually happens as Pleta doesn't find the Zenith Blade. Yeah, who looking for an opportunity onto BDD, who is still very, very tanky. They're just going for a bit of a 1v1, but he makes it back to his teammates. That Glacial Prison, yeah. I don't think we've ever... <laughs> I like it. As, all right. Barrel just going to find an ulti onto Pleta for fun. That was pretty cool. All right. And KT <laughs> just going to let that one go. Plus one World Atlas stack. Indeed. There actually, we go. Not even sure if that actually did count as one. Um, After the changes to stop lane swaps, they don't even get to teleport perfect back to lane. He's just going to walk because he's like, yeah, maybe you guys get a split plate here. Don't really care. Not too worried. And they're even uh, now baiting this as a zero. Less resistances. Over. Yep. Only a few seconds until that one is going to change as well as Rascal. Coming on over. We're not going to find the uh, Arctic Assault, though. And now Pyoshik could be in trouble. Has Frost Armor, though, as Yahoo just going to ult his way out of there. And that means that they won't have that tool no soon. As Perfect still likely to get Dove, as there is a teleport coming in. Pleta tanks up this turret for an extraordinarily long time. It's Perfect, he hits Meganar, but then he gets hit by a ram. And so he will be going. turrets, as you mentioned, but I mean, look at what BDD is getting done here in mid. This doesn't even have Nashor's tooth. He's just ripping this to shreds, though, and with only two grubs, because he's got barrel and Pyoshik's help here, and down goes the turret. So it's two turrets for one. DRX really don't get a whole lot. He on does not have flash from that prior play, nor his Narbar. So it's a good timing to punish. Yep, Sponge going to come on down. Does land one of them. Stranglethorns to come on through, but the hop is pretty strong. Almost gets out, but he's not able to. Perfect, just going to get chopped up and destroyed. Rascal getting the same treatment here towards the top side, but it looks like he will be able to make it out. Bellow's breath to help him there. Understandably so. Yeah, and this is going to be one more charge on the Herald as well. Yeah. And it looked like, you know, like DRX went for the play. Perfect died, but there's still bounties up, right? It's yeah, still like full a full health full turret to get. Okay, we got this. You got a turret top side, but we get a turret. They lose a turret. They get an extra charges. Now they're going to try to punish BDD. All right, let's see whether they can get it here as the Zenith Blade doesn't quite work. Zegan and Zagan finds the Emperor's Divide, and that's why he's the coat of. <laughs> they're a little bit sloppy with the setup. Could be a problem. All right, BDD finds the ulti here. He's yeah, who's going for that 1v1. He goes into melee range of Ione, and he's got backup. Top lane are going to be coming in. Perfect comes Doesn't down. Doesn't mean that two-item spike for an Ornn means a little bit less in team fight. Yeah. Well, Flutter is going to take a lot of damage from the Baron. Does split up KT here with the Solar Flare. Finds the Zenith Blade. There is the Fate's Call, though, to come down. As Deft is going to have to pick up Barrel. He was taking a Game lot. state. Yeah, this is the problem, is that... Yahoo is pretty far behind. Baron 
Going to get started up though, Pleta, understanding that this is likely happening. They're going to throw some vision in, 50% health on the Baron. KT not wanting to flip. And they're just going to get out of there instantly, testing the waters. Make sure they figure out exactly what's going on. As there's the Glacial Prison, finally Persia going to find one. This this time it's onto Rascal though, so just doesn't do a whole lot. Perfect to have a fight where he doesn't have that as Barrel's in trouble. Yeah, he's going to get grasped and Fate's Call. And Deft is going to be able to save him. He just does not have a lot of health. Like, uh, Beryl has, has basically no health at all. Yeah, he's, um... He, he's didn't, not, he didn't even press the heal button. Nah. That's how much he knew Deft was going to save him as Sponge. Also down to about 50%. BDD going to flap his wings, hop over the wall, flashes out of the way of the Solar DRX. Flare. Yeah, who's just going to have to try and get out of there. DRX still fighting. Arctic Assault comes in, but up with the Eclipse is pretty tanky. Doesn't have that one now, though, and they will back away. KT looking a bit worse for wear as far as these health bars. They're going to have to be careful as Rascal looks for a knockup. Gets it onto Pyoshik that he didn't even know was there. And now Sponge is just going to explode. Couldn't even press the Stranglethorns button, and he's just dead. Yahoo also going to get feared there by Beryl. Carries his ultimate back as well. And the Azir starting to pick up the kill. Steph also dancing forward, celebrating his thousandth game with a kill on his opposite number. And now Yahoo is just running for the hills. Kyoshi gonna get stabbed a little bit, but I think that this one's pretty inevitable, especially with the known location that he has to go back to there. BDD doesn't even allow that to happen. And KT, they should be able to head towards this Baron, take this down and start really doing some damage to the base. On the Elder Drake as well. That one's gonna be up extraordinarily soon. KT, we're gonna try and break open this bottom inhibitor turret first. And that is just gonna go down. BDD does so much damage to these structures and Perfect's being so annoying here in this mid lane. Teddy now trying to take matters into his own hands as there is True Shot Barrage to come out. Doesn't land on the barrel though. As all the Glacial Prisons picked up by Teddy and BDD is gonna collect him as well. Thrown over the wall and into the back line they go. Yahoo does manage to get the kill onto the Azir but Rascal's also gonna go down. Death doing so much damage here after that double kill. They'd have to cross over so much vision of this comp for KT to get to the Elder in the first place. The Baron has dissipated, so the minions are killable. We'll see whether they can get on top of those. The Glacial Prison is going to connect. They layer it with Barrel's ulti as well as BDD is going down very, very low. Flashes out of there though, and Pletter is going to get eaten by the Dragon. Now Yahoo is also going to be in trouble. Perfect dives on top of him. He is going to go down for it though, and it's messy on the KT side. But now they're focusing on these turrets. They've still got Deft alive. BDD also there trying to get that health bar back up again. They are utilizing this Chemtech Soul, you know, keeping their yeah. health bars as low as possible. And I think that it might just be enough here as Depp bouncing around the battlefield, wanting to take down this turret. And there goes Teddy. The dragon comes down. It's Beryl that locks up the kill. Remember, Depp still has his uh, GA available. It's a double kill here for Beryl, who's just taking them all from Mr. Thousand Games. And there is the fear on top of Rascal. He's going to get eaten. Oh, this one is actually going to go to Depp. 407 on his Callista, looking absolutely fantastic in this game. We'll see whether they can do it again for game number two. But right now, this one's all about KT. And they will end it right here. Congratulations to Depp. Get to win. Game of Thou. Faker kind of did take that away from him over the last couple of years. But we know that this guy was synonymous with this champion for so incredibly long on his time with Gen G.